Hello, I'm Dave Humblin, Senior Application Engineer with PBC Linear. Lubrication in linear motion is very important. In the case of a linear ball bearing, where you have metal riding on metal, it is very important to include additional lubrication in the application to ward off fretting corrosion, uh, scoring of the shafting, etc. I'd like to com compare and contrast that to a self-lubricating style of bearing using a polymer such as Freelon. In this case, the Freelon transfers some of itself to the shaft and essentially becomes self-lubricating because the Freelon is riding on the Freelon. We'd like to look at some cases where lubrication is recommended for use with Freelon, as well as lubricants that are not recommended to be used with Freelon at all. The definition of lubrication is any outside technique used for reducing the friction, wear, or both of a linear plane bearing. The purpose of lubrication is to reduce friction up to 50%, minimize wear of the bearing liner, reduce heat buildup, allowing greater speeds, and aid in cleaning the shafting for a proper transfer process. Tribology is the science of wear and applies to both sliding and rolling type elements. Both types benefit from lubrication. There are two main types of linear plane bearings, metallic and non-metallic. Of the metallic types, materials include bronze, copper and aluminum alloys, lead, and sintered iron and copper. Non-metallic linear plane bearings focus on self-lubricating materials. These include polyacetyl, polyethylene, resin-based plastics, carbon graphite, woven fibers, and Teflon compounds. Simplicity linear plane bearings fit into the last category. They are self-lubricating, meaning they require no external lubricant. The transfer process is very important transferring some of the Freelon to the shaft surface to make them self-lubricating. Prior to the installation, clean the linear shafting with a 3-in-1 type oil. This assures that the surface will receive a full transfer of Freelon material. There are some lubricants that are recommended for use with Simplicity linear plane bearings if desired or the situation warrants it. These include whey lube oils, lightweight petroleum-based oils, 3-in-1 type oils, and lightweight petroleum-based greases. Also, there are lubricants that are not recommended for use with Simplicity linear plane bearings. Do not use WD-40, PTFE sprays, or other oils, greases, or sprays that contain fluorocarbons or silicone. In testing, these lubricants have proven to cause long-term stick-slip problems with the Freelon lined bearings. They tend to become a gummy substance that ultimately increases friction. Also do not use motor oils or oils with additives. While these oils work well short term, they quickly become ineffective and result in stick slip situations. Rule of thumb is the less additives in the lubricant, the better. Simplicity linear plane bearings can be configured with an optional lubrication system for external lubrication. This consists of a felt wick placed in a groove machined on the ID of the bearing. The felt wick is intended for oil and should be removed if using grease as a lubricant. The combination of the grease and the felt wick will act as a brake. After the felt wick is removed, the groove will serve as the grease reservoir. Housed units that feature the lubrication option are configured with a zerk fitting in the wall of the housing, this allows introduction of lubricant into the inside diameter of the bearing. Learn more at pbclinear.com.